We are in Krabi and today we are going to show you all the top things to do in this area. We're going to take you to all of the famous touristy spots. So with this beach, the whole time you're hearing the boats like... <laughs> we also found some hidden gems. And at this moment we are at one of the hidden gems and really we just saw the most beautiful sunrise of our lives. So join us on our adventures in Krabi. It is 5.45 in the morning and we are going for a morning adventure. We are in a, in a bit of a rush to catch the sunrise. Oh, the viewpoint is this way. The restaurant is this way, 500 meters. It has to go up because yeah. otherwise we won't see any sunrise. And the sunrise is in what? What time is it? 10 minutes. So it looks like you can also stay here. It's like a proper hike. Yeah. We made it. And what I'm seeing right now, I cannot believe that I am here. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really cool. Oh my it's God. really, it is a five minute hike up. So just wake up early and have this refreshing walk. It will be worth it. just ordered breakfast and I think it's going to be really nice and this place is called Ding Dong Doi uh, we are also putting the like the location in the description down below so you can also visit this place because uh, it's worth it I'm just waiting for the sun to like pop up I think this is uh, one of the most beautiful places we have had breakfast it's really amazing and it's just for like the breakfast was almost 40 baht it's not even five and euros and coffee is great and the hot chocolate as well and the interest is 100 baht so for just under than 10 euros you have full on breakfast and it's beautiful view and there's not many people that's the yeah. best part we are gonna say goodbye to this beautiful place and now it's time for our next hidden gem because the next place where we're going there's no information about that place on the internet it's so sacred that even the signs or even the Google Maps it's in Thai but we're gonna link everything down below you can also get off with a car the what? you can also go off with a car We came to the Thankiri Park. It's a bit of a local place. It's really hard to find on the internet information about this place. But I think we are the only ones. And the entrance of this park was 50 baht. And I think it's just a really cute park. And they're also growing a lot of uh, veggies or so. So it's a really nice and peaceful place. It's like super, you just hear the animals and that is not always that common in this area. No, no traveling, nothing. No boats. No boats. I think when you have children, this is a really nice place to be with your children for a bit. And they also have a lot of toys for children. Maybe we show you later. Mira found a place to chill. So you can just leave your children playing here or you can just chill here all day. And then the children fall in the water, there. Oh, the water is really clear. Yeah. So you can find them, they fall, no worries. So I ordered a green tea and I thought it's going to be really light, you know, just like green tea, like from the tea bag. But it turned out to be a matcha, I think. But it tastes really good. And I got uh, Americano with uh, honey and... Uh, lemon. Lemon. Tastes amazing. Yeah. Mm. So this is my third coffee for today. Mm. That's the bad thing if you go to all these cozy places everywhere, you want to have this yeah. extra coziness with a nice drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I noticed here that if you have a place or an accommodation that is really focused on Thai people, it's always like super calm, super peaceful. If it's something that is focused on tourists, it's like boats, noise, mess, you know. Crazy music. And crazy music, yeah. Mm. And like I think Thai people, they just love these places. And that's why I love Thai people. Oh, 
So we are not doing the tour. The tour, uh, it takes us like two and a half to two hours. Wow, oh, it is so cool there we are. Uh, I think if you're doing by yourself, it can be handy to get your phone with you so that you can navigate because they also give you a dry bag. So it cannot go wrong if you, even if your phone drops in the water. We are back home or back to our scooter and it was a really cool trip and if you want to do this as well then just do it without the tour because then you just have your own freedom and it's, it's really cool. <laughs> We came back to Aonang. It was a long, long, very long bike ride. And we have discovered this really crazy, delicious Thai restaurant where everything what we have tried so far is just next, next level. And we have ordered a lot of food. <laughs> the best Mossaman curry we have ever tried. So yesterday we were also eating here and there was an other customer and she was just going crazy about this Penang curry with noodles. So I just had to try it. Like she was, I think it was her best dish she have ever eaten. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was it? It's so creamy and oh, it's so good. And this is our third time eating at this place. Until now, pad thai was my favorite dish, but I think today it's gonna change. And if you wanna also have food in this restaurant, definitely come. The only thing is during peak time, the cooking time duration is a bit longer. But yeah. Other than that, it's just next level. Everything what we have tried is like top class. Mm. Yeah, I think after this, um, it will be difficult to find something that is just as good. We are at the entrance of the Tiger Cave Temple. This is where the stairs would start. And how many stairs is there, Mira? 1260. Nothing. Nothing. We will do a little challenge. Who's going to be the up first? Yeah. I have to film, so I have to stop so many times. Oh, why are you coming with an excuse, eh? But the good part is, it's a bit evening, it's not the burning sun, so that's really lucky that maybe we are not gonna be sweating so much. The. Can you go there? Samira, how do you feel? Yeah, After good. climbing 50 stairs? 50? Oh, no more. <laughs> so there's so many monkeys. Yeah, I think me. Love to take Mira's phone. As we're going up, the views are getting really beautiful. That's kind of boosting our motivation already, to go more up. There are already first people who give up, who just <laughs> sit and they say, just go up and say to APC. my wife, I'm not coming. <laughs> Almost looks like Mount Everest. Yeah. <laughs> Halfway. I think so. 822. 822, oh. No, we're almost there. It's not the most fun uphill. But the views are worth it and you have so many beautiful monuments behind us. Yeah, and people, maybe you don't realize, but Adi is always taking this bag. And it, now it <laughs> looks pretty small, but how much kilo is it normally? I think just the bag is already 3 kilos. Yeah, and then sometimes everything it's like inside 12 is like, kilos yeah. or so. But yeah, so hit a like for our effort. It's really worth the 12,000, oh no, 1260 steps. It is really incredible, beautiful. You see all these uh, rocks here. And in a previous video, we have been to Khao Sok. And this area, it looks like Khao Sok, but then without the water. And it's just so, so unreal. Like you don't see this often in other countries, I think. If you don't want to go to Khao Sok, and if you're here, just come up to this <laughs> temple and enjoy the view. Because it's, it's like, I don't know if the camera is doing the justice, but it just looks unreal. No. But you do have to go to Khao Sok. Khao Sok is the most beautiful thing we've ever seen in our lives. Yeah. The biggest bucket list thing that has to be on your bucket list. It or, is, or, yeah. What do you say? Number one on your bucket list. So after these many steps, of course, we deserve some delicious food. And we are here in the Krabi Town Night Market. It's open from Friday to Sunday. And they said it's amazing here. They have all kinds of delicious foods. It's a combination of like touristy, but also a lot of locals are coming. So the food has to be of high quality, you know, and we are going to test it out. So the most tempting thing Mira finds in our market is a bloody corn. I really like corn. 
popcorn never goes wrong. I love cone. Mmm, cone. So good. Yeah. I really, we ate this already in different other videos as well. But I really always thought it was just a hype, you know, that it looks pretty, but it, it's not worth it. It is worth it. It is super, super good. We are done with the night market and now we'll take you to the next thing what you can do when you are in Karabi. So we reached Aonang Beach and it feels a little bit like the Costa Brava in Spain. Also, because of the amount of people, it's just insane. There are so many people. There's a lot of boats, a lot of gales. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can find the, the hidden gems here. <laughs> So with this beach, the whole time you're hearing the boats like <laughs> They're so, going to Riley Beach, right? Riley Beach, Kopiti, everywhere and it's, uh, yeah, you don't hear any ocean. Proper tourist destinations, if you guys want to come here, you can have a reality check. Instagram was a reality check. And now we go to a hike, oh, right? Oh, yeah, we go to do uh, a really exciting hike, I hope. With a lot of uh, other animals. <laughs> a lot of other an hopefully just animals. I really hope this is a little bit of the gem. Yeah, we are on the start of the monkey trail and it is like a 10 minute hike. We will check for you how long it actually takes. And then you go to like a hidden beach gem. And the good part is a lot of people are returning. So maybe we have an empty beach. <laughs> we'll see. So we succeeded, we finished the monkey trail, it really just takes 10 minutes, but it's sweaty. And now we are on the Pai Plong beach and uh, it's, it's more quiet here. It's still, we hear all the boats, so that's a bit sad. And a lot of people making photos of all the monkeys, because there are a lot of monkeys, it's really cute. Yeah, there is like, there are a lot of people, but it's, you can also find your quiet spots. Yeah. Like people-wise, it will never get quiet boat-wise. Careful with your phone, Mira. Whoa. So many monkeys, so, ooh, so many. <laughs> it's interesting to see that all the locals walk with a stick here. <laughs> Must be a sign. Do you hear what I hear, Adi? No. I hear nothing. Oh. The boats are gone. Six o'clock, six o'clock they stop. No. So if you want to enjoy this beach to the fullest, come at 6 o'clock. Yeah, we've got a really nice scooter. This one. This was the only, maybe that's why nobody picked this up. Because this was pink, so this was the only one left. Look what we got, the typical Thai pancake. And normally, we've ordered this before, and normally they are always made by this tough guy, you know, you know like all uh, really show. And this one is made by a woman, and she took so much, she put so much love in it, she took time for everything. Really? Nutella, perfect, you know. So I'm really curious if this one is also better. Normally they put a bit more Nutella, so you don't taste the banana sometimes almost. It's also a bit different than the other ones, yeah. yeah. It's a bit, like you taste the banana better. But this is one of our favorite uh, desserts. Yeah. If you are coming to Thailand, must, must, must try this. It's the roti pancake, they call it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it! <laughs> You're so... Oh, oh, I can take it again. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, do you have to do both right? Then we get a surprise, yeah. Adi. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Woo. It's raining a little bit. But the good thing from the rain, it gave me this turtle. Otherwise, we wouldn't have done it maybe. But now, there's so many more of these games here. It's so exciting to do. Oh. <laughs> 
No, I think they're gonna grab your phone, baby. So we are walking now from Riley East to Riley Beach, and you pass by this whole cute, uh, like hipster street with a lot of restaurants, and I think tonight this will be one big party. So we've got a spot on the beach, and uh, we are enjoying the beach to the fullest, and. We hear that the, uh, some boats are leaving, so that's a good sign. Oh, I thought I see that the boats are leaving, but they're out there. <laughs> I thought they half were of the boat are yeah. half of the boats are parked, and half of them are leaving back to Aonang maybe. And it's still beach is packed, but it's a bit spread out. It's it's quite big, so that's good. Look how much rocks is there. This was not really the hike which we saw, but then we saw that you can also go around through the water. So that's it looks cool. so pretty and now yeah. it's getting quiet, eh? Yeah, it's getting quiet and the water is so warm. It's like really proper warm. Oop, what was that? <laughs> I thought it was a fish. Does anyone knows what that is? But they don't really, I don't know. So we walked around it and next to Riley Beach there's this other beach and I think that one is way more pretty. They have like this whole skyline of palm trees and almost no people. No. But I think the only way to get here is uh, like now when it's low tide. <laughs> Why I always make myself so difficult in these things? All the boats have left and now for the first time I can hear the sound of these tiny waves. <laughs> And Miro is having a big, big wrap. Wrap. And it's really, I had one bite and the hummus is really delicious. But we're going to show you this place, the name. Because the owners are really, really friendly. And I'm sure your burger is also going to be next level. First time? Okay. Yeah. I'll give you a review. First time he made this burger. <laughs> and just difficult to eat, I think. Yeah. I don't know how to eat it. I don't think you can, guys. Yeah, oh my oh, god. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Oh, really nice. Yeah. Mm. And guess what we did earlier this day, this morning. I almost forgot about it. Because if you think about Rayleigh, you almost you have to think about rock climbing, and that's why we did we something did crazy. It. Oh my God! Why we can do this type of crazy stuff every time? Yeah, I really doubt <laughs> myself now. Like this is the easy beginner, no? This is also easy beginner. This one. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Of course. Okay, that's good. I'm getting nervous? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Don't be, I got you. Nice. Yeah, spread your legs, spread. It gets a bit tough at oh, some yeah. point. Then you don't know what to do. But if I was not looking down, so it was not that scary. Nice. Go. Put up to the right. And move your right hand up a little bit more. It's the easy one. I just cannot imagine how I to think get we go this. there now. <laughs> that goes quick. Hello, no. we're a beginner. This is the tricky part. Now he has to get up that stone and it's really difficult. Don't give up! Yeah, you're so close! I was fishing, everything changed. Yeah, but you can take a rest. Not just, oh, I come down, I come down, I come down. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can be relaxed. You, if nothing happened. <laughs> oh, wow, this is so painful. I was really high up and I had to, like, I didn't hear it, so I had to look down or I looked at my feet. 
I saw like this little Adi there. And like, oh my god, no. Adi, I have to come go. I thought that he's like serious. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the crazy rock climbing. If you are here, it's definitely worth a try. And now it is obviously next day, super early in the morning, 6.30, and we're gonna chase the sunrise. Look how crazy the noise is from these insects. Mm -hmm. We found a mini spot. We hope you enjoyed one of our greatest adventures in Thailand. See you in the next one.